The Phantom G also has a variety of different real-time controllers with which you can manipulate the sound in real time. So for example, we have four control knobs here, eight faders, a D-beam, two switches by the pitch wheel. You can do a variety of different things and assign these things to control different things via the modulation matrix. So for example, with knob one, sort of conventional cutoff. But at the same time, we've also assigned that to this fader, fader number one. So you can control it up the resonance with fader two. So there's different ways to control that. In addition, the D-beam enables you, you can assign all different kind of parameters to control the D-beam, which is an infrared beam, which you can break with your hand. In this case, pitch bend. So you can do. which is quite a cool performance uh, gimmick, I suppose. Similarly, with the pad uh, trigger, you can trigger samples with it uh -huh. or any kind of other thing that's assigned to the pads, like real-time phrase sequencing. In addition to this, we have two switches by the pitch, uh, pitch lever. I've got one here assigned to kill the reverb. So there's a variety of different ways with which you can control it. The Phantom G also sports a whole variety of different pitch bend modes, different ways to bend the notes up and down. It controls it in different ways according to the modes that you're in. You have standard uppy downy mode. You've also got touch mode whereby if you bend the notes up, as soon as you release the pitch wheel back to towards its center point, it drops immediately back to that, to where you were. There's also catch mode where basically the chords that you play as you bend up or down will still bend normally, but the notes that you play after that event will still sound at their original pitch. So that F is still there at its original pitch, and you can bend the other chord back down, and you can hear that the F still stays in pitch with that. Um, there's also last mode, which is very useful if you're going to use things like uh, pedal steel guitar um, uh, playing, for example, where the, it's the last note of the chord that you play is the thing that gets bent up. So for example, for that classic.